so just about 24 hours late on this one, Nathan Ake SBC finally gets released. It was in concepts yesterday. EA tweeted out saying there was an error with it going live or some rubbish like that. But he's here. Fantastic defensive play styles as well as whip pass. We can try him out as a left back and in that centre back role. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. Now, one thing to say is the price is really good. It's an 86 and 85 rated team with no special cards needed. But on the other hand, stat wise, Nothing crazy. Like, he's not going to absolutely dominate compared to the cards that you've been picking up recently in your squads. Like, the Rudigers, for example, the states of, like, Joe Gomez, and, of course, uh, Ronald or Rauhau now, they're, like, looking ridiculous. But Ake has potential as a left-back, man. Like, I honestly feel that could be the role for this boy. Speed is there. Jockey, block and anticipate is an unbelievable set of playstyle pluses for the defending side. And with pass, which he's going forward, four-star, four-star is okay for a left-back or a centre back if you want to play in there. Speed, yes, the passing should be good for the link up play. Nothing crazy, crossing's a bit mediocre. Dribbling looks good for like more of a, uh, well, he's, he's probably more of a centre back, right, than a left back, but we'll test him out in the left back role first. Defending though, that's where I'm a little bit concerned. It's, it's kind of low, right? Should have been better in my opinion, uh, but play styles, no intercept, no bruiser, but we do have technical, rapid, relentless, base aerial, which is a positive, long ball, ping pass. I think it looks interesting. For the price, we'll see how he plays. Chem star wise, it's probably an anchor. Just to max out the defending of physical as well as just maxing out that speed. Or you could go shadow if you just want to juice the defending as much as you can. But I'll give him an anchor for now. Left back in game number one, then move to that centre back. By the way, EA have finally dropped some more XP. So tonight, I might have a certain review out for Udogi, which is another left back in the season pass. If I can get the XP for it, I'll let you guys know. Well, you'll see it on my channel, so uh, keep it out for that one. He looks unbelievable. All right, in we go. Nathan Ake time. Left back, gainable one, as I said. He is only 5'11", which is obviously the concern if you're playing him centre back, especially because he doesn't have aerial plus. He does have base aerial, though. But, of course, the aerial meta is crazy right now, so you don't really want to sacrifice aerial plus centre backs. However, Nathan, moving on the ball. My opponent is sitting off me a treat. I'm just going to keep striding into position, you know. Little ball roll. Definitely feels a little bit on the clunkier side, but links up with Diaz, and we already got a goal. Nathan Aki getting the assist. So one thing that is important for me, dribbling when it comes to fullbacks. To be fair, I've been using Joe Gomez in my right back position. I don't know, Nathan Aki doesn't feel too shabby, you know. Base technicals there. The left stick definitely has a little bit of sluggishness to it, but that controlled sprint it is a little bit better than I expected. Let's pick him out again. Big touch. Throw that back stick, but Kyle, he's not going to win that, is he? Into Ake. Drill it into his feet. Float it. Okay, speed. We've got it. Decent touch. Take it down. Blitzes up in that Shao Cancelo. Finds it Dan. We're getting ratty and sweaty. But Puskas can't find the back of the net. Okay, okay. Yeah, that left stick is not convincing. And of course, recovery speed, he's not really explosive. The likes of Barcola here blitzing most of my defense apart from Ronald who uh, swoops into the rescue. Let's give it back to Eke. Redemption time. On your bike now, son. Little give and go with Diaz. Of course, the overlapping is needed. Go on, just stride into the box. Little controlled sprint action. Hold up. Okay, now I've got to be carried away there. Oh, he's got that, hasn't he? You sweaty boy. I can't talk. I literally just tried to cut back it like uh, two seconds ago. Oh, he's in. He's going to make it free. Just like that, we've fallen apart the seams. Puss gas. Let's go. Back in it. There's no way Barco. Okay, Barcola. Ramos. He's gone for the spear. Is he onside? Nah, absolutely. I refuse to believe it. Stepped inside a little bit too easily there. But recovery on point, even though he's taking that one to the chin. Nathan, jockey speed. Jockey speed. That'll do, lad. Handle it, though. Don't know what he's doing with these little touches in the box. We need more conviction than that, Nathan. You're not going to see like, all the chance I've had in this game. Because like we're reviewing a defender. But 
I kid you not, lads. I have been peppering this man's net. Watch that ball to Barcola because he backs him. He's got speed, you know. Yes, Nathan swoops in. Solid challenge. And now we can carry attack and hopefully salvage this, man. Oh, I'm not going to lie to you. Left back, a little bit left to be desired. I feel like speed got caught a little bit. Defensively, he's going to be solid. That's the strong point for sure. Overlapping, getting involved. It's not really where he's going to truly shine. So I think maybe in the centre-back role is where this man is going to be the best. So, sacrifice Ronald. Nathan, big boots to fill, lad. Let's see how he does. Coming across, Abba. Nathan, lovely cover. Lovely. Speed is really nice for a centre-back, you know. And I feel like the smaller kind of build, he fits it. Gives me similar vibes to Jules Koundé. And like the difference at left-back, you could pair Teo Hernandez to like a Nathan Ake. There's only one winner there. Whoa, Nathan. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be an issue, right? I mean, Barcola is that like 6'1", I think. So height is there. However, Jockey is a nice addition for sure. He's just going to get out jumped effortlessly by the likes of Veghorst, for example, and a lot of the other bigger players. Nathan coming across. Lure him in. Lack of recovery speed. Like, the lack of pure explosive acceleration is definitely noticeable on a card like this. All right, we're 1-0 down. But you know the rules around here. Nathan, 70 pens. You know what? Not actually that bad. Smash this bottom right. It's a side net in. Oh, it's tidy as well, you know. 70 pens is pretty decent for a defender. Well in. Nathan. Ooh, little intricate passes there. I liked that. Little triangles. I mean, I can't do much about that, to be fair. I think most centre-backs will probably struggle against that kind of move, but... Quick, jockey, precision challenge as well. Nathan! Nathan! Nathan, mate. Mate, what's going on? He's had a few little instances like that where he's just not glued to his feet. He's taking a bit of a heavier touch in the box. Obviously, jam on toast for my opponent, but it's just not what you want to see, you know? Oh, puss gas. Beautiful, beautiful finish. Is that another penalty? Hold up. Potential brace. I mean, that's a little bit soft, but it's definitely some uh, some shirt pull in there. Nathan Ake was clinical. The ultimate salt in the wounds would be a dink down the middle, wouldn't it? Yes, let's go. He's on for the hatty. See you later, Ronald. Please be a penalty. Please, please be a penalty. If this is a pen and we get a hat trick of penalties from Nathan Ake, that might be. That will go down to history on this channel. So close. It's a game of inches, man. What are we saying for set pieces? Nathan? Let's just give it a go, mate. You, you honestly never know at this stage. That could go in. That could go top bins. Oh. My. Days. No way. Okay. Nathan Ake? Who is this, man? Is it Bobby Carlos in disguise? Hey, the Nathan Ake hat trick is enough to say bye to my bonum. Yes, Nathan. Like, jockey anticipate and block playstyle pluses is a crazy combination. Like, let's not get it twisted. When the ball's on the ground, this man should be ridiculously solid at making challenges. Yeah, just, just no. Like, Hernandez, mate, just no. Nathan. Okay, he's done the job. A little bit questionable, though. Like, he did let it bounce off his head a little bit before he uh, handled it. Hey, puss gas two. Is that enough to say goodbye to my opponent? Decent defensive performance for Ake in that one. Now, realistically, is Nathan Ake the real deal? Is he a defender that's going to come into your team and replace the likes of Rudiger, Gomez, Teo Hernandez? No. It, unfortunately, he just isn't. He, he's, he's good. Very good for the price. But he's not on the level of these guys. No chance. There's a serious issue here in the fact that he's 5'11", which definitely hinders him in that centre-back role. Lack of aerial plus. He's going to get bullied and abused. And for some reason, in a few instances, there was a little bit where he almost felt a little bit too clunky on the ball, too heavy-footed, which makes me think he can't play as a left-back either. I feel like this kind of card is going to be suited to people who maybe have a... Uh, not like a, a much worse team than mine, but maybe a cheaper budget or you're trying to find a player to fit in at left back, centre back, just as a stop gap before footies. But once again, the issue is footies is out tomorrow. We don't know what's going to come out. So 
just to put it bluntly, he's decent for the price, but I probably would not be completing this card. Obviously, it depends on your team. Let me know what you're rocking down below, and I'll try and help you out. But for the price, 100k, I think at this point, it's probably just worth saving that. Even though it's only 100k, wait for tomorrow for 30s to see what comes out. Because hopefully, EA are going to bring the juice, and it's going to be much better than this Nathan Ake card. Let me know what you think down below. I'll be more to subscribe if you're new. We'll doggy review later tonight. Catch you then.